looking at our website and we have a pretty built up website with contents and different pages. But right now we're interested in actually deleting this website because maybe we want to reset everything. So there are a few steps that we can do in order to remove the content from our website. The first one that we could go to is to go to our pages. And we'll see here that we'll have several different published pages. If there are any pages here that we want to remove or delete, we can go over to this icon and then go over to the option to trash it. We can do this for any of the pages that we want to remove from our site. Now, when a page is trashed, it won't be visible on the website anymore. But you'll see over here that there's a panel for the trash pages that you can still access the pages. Anything that ends up in the trash page will remain in there for 30 days before it's permanently deleted. You can click on this icon and you'll see a few options. There is an option to go ahead and delete the page permanently, but as soon as you do that, the page will be gone and can't be recovered at all. There's also the option to go ahead and restore the page, which will send it to your drafts and you can return it to your website. We'll leave the pages here for now and then we'll navigate over to our posts. Similar to the pages that you uh, deleted, you can go over to this icon and then choose the option to trash the post. A prompt will appear once the post has finished being moved to the trash. And you can do the same for all the other posts that you see in here. You'll notice that now it's saying that there are no published posts found. Similar to the pages, you can go over to the, tra to the trash panel and then you'll find your post that you recently deleted. And just like the pages, you have the option to go ahead and delete them permanently or to restore them. After you go through your post, you'll probably be interested in getting rid of your categories and tags. So you can go over here to the categories panel just underneath the post panel. And you'll notice that you'll find all of your categories for the post that you use. If you want to go ahead and delete a category so that it's no longer an option for selecting for any of your posts, you can go to this button and then choose the option to delete it. One thing to know is that when you delete a category, it's going to delete the category from being, select, being selected in your editor, but it's not going to delete any of the posts in it. So if I go ahead and click OK to remove the general category, the category is gone and the post that might have been assigned to it would end up being reassigned to the uncategorized um, as the default. So now that that category is gone, you can go over to tags in order to go ahead and delete them as well. And just like categories, you can go over to a tag and choose the option to delete it. Just like the categories, if you delete a tag, it's not going to delete the posts that were assigned to it. It will just delete the tag from being selected in the editor. If you make a mistake and you end up wanting to add the categories or tags back, you can always go to their respective add new tag, add new category button. So after you delete all of those, op all of those options in your website, the last option you'll want to go into is the media. Now this option will allow, will give you the ability to get rid of your images. If you select on the media and then you go ahead and use the shift button, you can go ahead and select everything by clicking on the last image. Then you can go to this delete icon and you can choose the option to delete the media. But one thing you need to keep in mind is that unlike the other areas, if you delete the media, they will be gone from everywhere on your website, including all of your posts, pages, and widgets. This is not something that you can undo, so you'll want to be sure that you want to delete the media if you choose this option. If you are, you can go ahead and click delete and then you'll find that you'll have no more media. This will essentially start your website from scratch if you delete all of your pages. So after we've deleted all of our media and it's no longer appearing, you can go ahead and check and see how our site looks now. So you'll notice that the images that we had at the beginning of the video are no longer appearing because they've been removed from the media library. 
All we have is our text and our contact information and links. You'll also notice that the pages that we removed, the abouts and contact pages are missing. And if we go to the blog page, we'll also see that the blog posts are missing from their usual area. So this confirms that everything that we've gone through in order to remove our content has been removed from the sites. And if you continue to do this with your other pages, you'll have an empty site and you'll be able to reset or start from scratch.